these deaths, not just in child uh, disability payment, but the adult disability payment, does it bring into sharp focus the consequences of long waits? But I do want to thank the staff at Social Security Scotland for managing to get the waits down. They're broadly in line with the DWP now, which is uh, more welcome. Uh, but the Minister didn't really set out what practical steps she's taken to actually improve the system, to make sure it doesn't happen again in future. So can she give us a bit more colour, a bit more detail as to exactly what has been done to make sure that we don't have long waits in the future? Cap Cabinet Secretary. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. Um, I, I can perhaps give a flavour of it, but there are a, a, a large number um, of uh, system changes that have been put in place. Um, if I can give Mr Rennie uh, some examples of that. We have looked at every single step in the process. So, for example, how can the application forms, which were co-designed with, with those who have used the DWP system, uh, but how can those application forms be to be changed so we can perhaps uh, strengthen the suggestions for clients to provide that support and information, uh, not to put the onus on them, but to say if they did that to begin with, uh, that would certainly help. Um, additional calls immediately going in to those who do apply without supporting information, perhaps making some suggestions about the types of things, for example, a prescription list and so on, that could be um, sent in right at the start to allow that to be in. Uh, the greater use of in-house health and social care teams to be able to support faster decision-making and the review of staffing levels. So those are some of the examples. They're not the only examples, presiding officer, but those are some of the examples. Um, and uh, Social Security Scotland um, will be in Parliament soon um, with um, a, an invite to all MSPs to be able to talk about whether it's particular constituency cases or the work that they've been doing. And I'm sure they would absolutely welcome the opportunity to speak through that in further detail uh, with um, Mr Rennie on, of course, I would be happy to do so as well.